committee reports. Uh, legislative update, Mrs. Shore. Um, <clears throat> my update is just letting you guys know that I'm looking forward to attending the OSBA conference that's coming up um, the 13th. I'll go up there and have one of the caucus dinners and um, I'll be voting on the platform um, as a delegate and I will come back with a report <coughs> as to where we stood, um, where we stand as of this year. Um, so I'll get that at the board meeting that, um, yes, after the conference. So I'm looking forward to that. Great, thank you. Uh, just quickly on Butler Tech, uh, this week was the grand opening of the Natural Science Center building, $12.5 million uh, project on the Monroe High School campus. Uh, I was not able to attend that, but it's just a beautiful building. There was a large write-up in the journal about it, pictures. Uh, it is a significant upgrade that uh, allows for expanded programming, breadth of programming, as well as more kids in the program. <coughs> so. Uh, a great thing at Butler Tech. Good <coughs> things happening there. Student Achievement, Mrs. Gundrum. Okay, um, the Fairfield Township campus of Butler Tech, so kind of segueing from there, uh, inducted 43 new members to the National Technical Honor Society. Of the 43, 10 are Fairfield High School students. Um, and I apologize if I mess up any of your names. Uh, they're K Caleb Bird, Siraj Chetri, Tiffany Cope, Andrew Dale Lawal, Gregory Jackson, Nathaniel Mayer, S Stephen Malamisuro, Anuj Timshina, Piran Adikari, and John Hooper. So congratulations, that is a, a major accomplishment. Thank you. Uh, Parks and Rec, Mr. Clark is not here, but I think under Parks and Rec he would have mentioned the, the parade of lights and our participation, we're going to be involved in it? So this year, we are not able to participate. We've it's a, As you know, it's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Right, right. Um, so that creates a, a hardship um, for uh, our staff members. And we usually try to get students involved as well. It's just very difficult two days after Thanksgiving uh, with people traveling um, to be with their families. Um, in addition, you know, we do have quite a few Ohio State and uh, Michigan fans around these parks. And uh, that is the game. And what's that? <laughs> you need to put that in the notes. <laughs> and so that creates yet another hardship uh, for uh, participation. So it just didn't work out this year. And actually, I told Scott a few days ago, he actually will also be out of town. Um, that Saturday as well but uh, nonetheless we did share that out this year which we really haven't done in the past uh, we shared that out across the district um, encouraging uh, any student groups uh, um, who would be interested to you know and participating um, certainly encouraging them to do so if they're able to so maybe that might you know, we might have a couple representatives in the parade this year rather than one we'll see how it turns out well, I'm sure it would be a great event, and this now gives someone else a chance to win. Yeah, because I, I do think there were some uh, hard feelings last year, uh, the, the uh, group that were, they were second place behind us in our category. I think they were stunned. And uh, just, yeah, just, I'm, yeah, it's good. Good opportunity. <laughs> Planning Commission, Mr. Smith. Uh, there is nothing to report this evening. Uh, I believe they did have a meeting, but there was nothing relevant to the school district. Great, thank you. 